I just put some crunchies in the dispenser. Let's see how fast it'll take Stella to get them out. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals.
How you doing, ditto? Hello. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. Hydrox just ate two breakfasts this morning. So he had some homemade raw food and then I put out just some um, raw turkey for him, which he likes. And I heard him meowing just now and I honestly thought ditto was visiting because he only ever meows like that when Ditto's around, but it wasn't Ditto, it was Stella. Stella was sitting by the back door. So Hydrox must have been meowing at Stella. That's nice. They were having a conversation. It's 10.47 a.m. How you doing, Stella? It's 7 p.m. I was just outside, and look who's here. It's Hydrox and Ditto. Ditto, I saw you yesterday. You were three blocks away. What are you doing over there? You eating, you're eating food over there? Ditto still looks very skinny, but a little bit better than he did before. How you doing, Ditto? Hello. I guess they want some food, so I'm gonna put some food together for them. Hello. Hello, Ditto. How are you? 
the patio was power washed the other day. It looks so much better. So much better. It's a big job though. Hello, ditto. Hello. And here's Hydrox. Hydrox has been grooming himself. See what he does to his fur? See how he grooms it and then it kind of gets all clumpy on the side? I gave them each a scoop of the homemade raw food with water mixed in and then I put some crunchies next to it. I just want to see what they'll eat. And these are the high calorie crunchies, uh, the Nature's Variety, which I have not been putting in the outside feeder. I've been putting uh, the more inexpensive crunchies uh, in the outside feeder, which are the Whole Earth Farms. Looks like Ditto is enjoying his meal. See if he sees that I'm too close to him, then he'll run. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go inside. I moved it over towards him, and he went back to eat it. There goes Hijax. I'm expecting some packages to be delivered uh, between now and 9 p.m. Uh, they're supposed to be here uh, earlier today, but they didn't show up yet, so hopefully uh, the tracking information says that they should be here before 9 and uh, the UPS guy usually comes around the back so that's why I move them over It's about 10, 15 p.m. right now. The cats are all eating crunchies. We had some play time today. There's Flash, there's Stella, Simba, and here's Boo. It is 9.30 a.m. and Boo has the zoomies. He has been running around this house like crazy for the past few minutes, which is good because what I'm doing is the cat chores and scooping out the litter and I'm refilling all the water and I think he knows that it's almost time to eat so he's gonna work up an appetite, right Boo? And this is what he does to the rug in the hallway. Good morning, Stella. I gave Hydrox some food about five minutes ago and he ate all of it. Right now he is eating some dry food out of the feeder. I have to go put some fresh water in the bowl outside. And we're supposed to get another storm later today. I don't know how bad it's going to be. Um, hopefully it won't be too bad. Hydrox is back. He's licking his bowl clean. Look at Boo. Look at this. Boo says since Stella took over his touch feeder, he's going to take over her rug. Doesn't he look pretty on it? He just got brushed. All the cats got brushed. Boo. Boo, look at me. Boo, look at me.
Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. It's 9.56 a.m. Simba has been bothering me all morning. You know why? Because it's fish day. It's fish day, Simba! And Simba has a new name. Simba, what's your new name? Simba, tell everyone your new name. Simba's new name is Fashida. Hello, Fashida. Hello, Fashida. And here's Stella. Good morning, Hydrox. Hydrox is waiting by his rocks. Hydrox loves his rocks. Okay, Hydrox. I'll give you some food. Good morning, Boo. Today for breakfast, the cats are trying this Muse salmon and shrimp recipe. They've never had this before. Uh, these are currently on sale at Big Lots for 50 cents a can, and this is a three ounce can, so that's a pretty good deal. That means you get two cans, like six ounces for a dollar. Stella, why are you fighting with Boo? The cats had previously tried the salmon recipe and they really liked it a lot. Uh, so I went back and I stocked up on a few other varieties. Uh, the ingredients in this are salmon, liver, chicken, fish broth, shrimp, spinach, natural flavors, sweet potatoes, and ground blueberries. Then there are minerals and vitamins. And this is made by Nestle Purina Pet Care Company um, in St. Louis, Missouri. I learned something very interesting yesterday about Nestle Purina. Um, and that is Nestle owns Purina. And it's actually a Swiss company. Uh, they are based in Switzerland, so it's not an American company. So this is what the cats are having for breakfast today. The cats have just been served their meal, and I don't know why they're eating out of order. Like Boo's eating Splash's, Sim is eating Boo's, and Stella's eating hers, and Splash uh, walked away. Every time we have new food he does that, so I'm gonna bring his plate over to him. There's Splash in his plate. Hopefully he eats it. It looks like everyone is enjoying their food. It's 5.42 p.m. right now, and I don't know if you could see him, but there's Hydrox. He's been hanging out under this feeding table. I guess it's cool for him over here. And I just gave him a plate of food because we're supposed to be getting some rain soon. And I think in like um, maybe a, a few hours, then we're just gonna get a, a storm coming through again. These late summer storms. So he has the food there if he wants to eat it. Uh, most of the dry food in the bowl has already been eaten, so I'm assuming he ate it. Right now it's about 8 p.m. and I'm just about to feed the cats their dinner. And I thought I would show you what I got for them today. So I was running some errands earlier and I had to go to Staples. And in the same shopping center there is a pet store and the signs in the window said they were going out of business and everything was 30 to 50% off. So. Of course, I had to go in there and see what they had. So I bought some things, and she said that every Thursday is when they lower prices again, and that they're probably going to be open another three to four weeks, depending on how fast they sell through everything. Uh, so I bought some food and snacks for the cats, and I got everything 30% off, and I thought that was a pretty good deal. So let's let's take a look. So I got Pure Bites Minnows. Uh, these were originally uh, $4.99 a bag. I got them for $3.49 a bag, which is a good deal. I bought a total of three bags because, you know, these stay a while.
And then they also had these. It says, with love and fishes. These are sardine treats that pets go crazy for. I'm sorry Simba was chewing up my receipt. Um, so I got these, and I think these were uh, also the same price. Then I stocked up on some Tiki Cat sardine cutlets. Uh, these were $1.89, but they were 30% off, so I got them for, I think it was $1.25 a can. So I got, I got them the mackerel and sardines. And they've never had this one before. This is the tilapia recipe in tilapia consomme. And more sardines. Sardines. And another, and another tilapia. And then in here, this is Tiki Cat After Dark Chicken and Quail Egg Recipe and Broth. They've never had this, so I figured they could try it. Here's another Tiki Cat After Dark Chicken and Duck Recipe and Broth. And then I picked up some of the Blue Wilderness. Uh, canned food. Uh, this, these were $1.79 a can, but with 30% off. That brought them down to around $1.25. Unfortunately, I can't look at the receipt and see what the price was with the discount because I had additional rewards money on top of it, so it brought down the prices even farther. So, so for everything that I'm showing you, uh, I ended up only spending $28 in total, so I thought that was pretty good. So this is the Blue Wilderness Turkey Recipe. This is the chicken recipe. This is tiki cat mackerel and sardines. Another tiki cat sardine cutlets. And these are the bigger cans. These are the six ounce cans. Uh, mackerel and sardines. Mackerel and sardines. And then here's a Tiki Cat After Dark Chicken and Lamb recipe. So I got 16 cans of food, 13 are the large cans, and I got four bags of dried fish treats, and all of that was $25. So this is like 20 items for $25. That's a great deal. It definitely pays to be a bargain shopper and also to be at the right place at the right time. So I do have to say that I was surprised to see that the store was going out of business, but I was not shocked. The reason why is because the past few times that I tried to shop in that store, I walked out empty handed and frustrated because they did not have uh, what I was looking for. So they had a freezer for raw food, for like the primal raw food, and the Nature's Variety raw food, and they pretty much only catered to dogs, and they didn't have any raw food for cats, and I didn't think that was right, so when I would go there to try to buy the raw food, they never had any, so that was the main reason that I stopped shopping there. They could have made money off of me. They could have made a lot of money off of me, but they did not want to put their customers first and, and bring in what their customers wanted to buy. So if that happened to me there, I would think it would happen to other customers also. And I'm sure the recent virus situation did not help their business at all. So what I'm hoping to do is drive to the area where this store is maybe like once a week and pop in there and see if I could get some even better deals as the prices go down. The thing is you never know when things are going to be sold out. You know, someone could go in there and just buy a whole bunch of stuff. But, uh, you know, it's nice to have a 30% discount. It's even nicer to have a 50% uh, or 60 or 70%. So um, anyway, I was happy to get this. Today for dinner, the cats are trying this Tiki Cat tilapia recipe in tilapia consomme. I don't think they've ever had this before. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals.
and it says it's hand packed no gums this is a six ounce can let's take a look at the ingredients they are tilapia tilapia broth mackerel sunflower seed oil olive oil dicalcium phosphate calcium lactate taurine potassium chloride salt choline chloride magnesium sulfate and then it goes into all the vitamins and minerals so it's basically fish fish and oil and then uh, vitamins and minerals calorie content uh, one can has 113 calories guaranteed analysis crude protein 11 percent crude fat three percent crude fiber zero percent moisture 84 percent taurine 0.2 percent feeding guide for adult cats feed approximately one and a half cans per day per seven pounds of body weight and this is a product of thailand so the cats have never tried this before so they are going to split this one can so this one can will be split four ways uh, if they like it, I have another can, and they can get more from the other can. If they don't like it, uh, then they'll get some other food. I just opened the can, and this is what it looks like. I don't think I've ever seen canned food with this much broth. It's like all broth. Look at this. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Wow. All right, I'm going to split this up on four plates. So this is what it looks like on a plate. And these are the four servings. Ready guys? Ready to eat? The question is, who's gonna eat their food? Simba, the fish eater, is saying he's not gonna eat? What is that about? What is this about? Simba, Simba, this is fish. Simba, this is fish, you like fish. What, do you want a dried fish on it? Okay, I'll give you a dried fish. On it. Here, come on. Here, Simba. Boom, come on. Come on, here. Boom. You wanna eat that, boo? Stella is licking up the liquid very daintily and Splash ate some of it. Now he's on the steps. Sometimes Simba will not eat until he gets a dried fish on his food and Boo likes a few crunchies. There's Splash. He's finishing his food on the steps. I guess he thinks he's Boo. And there's Simba's plate. He walked away from it. I had to bribe them all with a few crunchies on the food. And Simba got some uh, crushed up dried sardine on his. Look at that. Stella's leaving food on her plate, so she's not a fan. I even had to bribe Splash with a few crunchies on his plate. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It is 7.45 a.m. 
And last night, Boo got some new dragonflies. With the gift card that I got from Eileen, I ordered Boo some new dragonflies and they arrived yesterday. So I gave him a green one and he had a lot of fun last night and he's been enjoying himself this morning also. Right, Boo? Meanwhile, Stella's taking a bath and Simba's been looking out the windows. And there's Splash. Splash is hanging out on the new rug by the door. I got this rug at the Christmas tree shop. And I also bought one of those things that you put under the rug so they don't slide around. And it's working really good. The problem is those things usually only last a short while. And then they stop working. But I'm going to see how long it lasts. Let me explain to you what just happened. So here's Boo on the rug. And Simba just jumped down onto the rug from where the window was. And Stella's right there. And Boo is very conscious of not jumping on the cats. So it's a complete 180 to how he used to be. When he first came inside, he would jump on the cats and attack them. And now when he's playing, he makes sure he does not jump on them. Boo, you're such a good boy. You are such a good boy, Boo. Let me show you a game that Simba and I were playing yesterday. So here's one of Simba's pom-poms, right? And then here is, this is like a massage roller for your back. And it's like a tunnel. So what I was doing was I was putting the pom-pom in there. And Simba was going crazy getting it out. Simba, get your pom-pom. Get the pom-pom. You gonna get the pom-pom? Simba. Get the pom-pom, Simba. Simba, do you see the pom-pom? Simba. I guess there is some residual catnip on the rug from the other day, even though he vacuumed. And he's licking it up. Simba, you getting your pom-pom? And that's what he does. He gets it out. And then I put it back in the other side. Ooh, and it came out. Get the pump. We got it again. I put it in the other side. Is he going to get it? Oh, he got it again. Okay, ready? I put it in the other side. You're going to... Oh, it fell out. There. Stella, give me the pom pom.
see this indentation? This is where your spine goes. So this is for your spine, and then these are for both sides of your back. It's like a lymphatic massage for your back. And this rolls up and down your back. Or what you can do is you can like lay on the floor and put this underneath you. And you know, I've never tried it on the cats actually. Let me see if I could try it on Simba. I think it might be too big. Yeah, I think it's too big and too heavy. I wouldn't just leave it on him.
I was in Target the other day and they have their Halloween costumes in stock and that's where I got the school bus for Boo last year and uh, this year I got Stella a permade costume and I got a gnome a gnome costume it's so cute and Simba looks really good in it and I got to see if I could get the permade on Stella I got the permade costume because it has a crown I think Stella will love it because of the crown it is 10.38 p.m. and this is some food that I put outside for Hydrox. So a few hours ago I put out this food for Hydrox but he did not eat it. And I saw him outside so I thought maybe he wanted some different food so I just gave him this food. It's raw turkey and he usually likes it but he did not eat it. And the reason why is he is really jumpy tonight. Like when I went outside to give him his food he kind of like jumped. Uh, and he was like startled when I opened the door and the reason why is because the new neighbors a few houses down are having a party tonight and I'm talking over the noise because I don't want to get a copyright infringement but they have had like music blasting for hours now and this is the second week in a row so last week at this time they were having a party until the wee hours of the morning like it was ridiculous but I shut all the windows and I put the air conditioning on. It wasn't so bad for the cats inside. And this week, I feel like the music is louder than it was last week. So once again, I have the windows shut. I have the air conditioning on like you would for like 4th of July fireworks or something. It's just because there's so much noise right now. And I feel bad for Hydrox because he has no way to get away from it. I mean, yeah, he could go in a cat shelter, but I don't think that's really going to help him because it's really loud. I think the only way for him to really get away with it is maybe to go across the street into the woods. But I don't think he likes hanging out there at night. Plus, I'm not sure how much that would even get him away from it because, you know, you could feel the bass. Like, they really have the bass kicked up. So... So I feel bad for Hydrox because it was never like this. Like he has spent his entire life not having to deal with this um, on a somewhat constant basis. I mean, it's been two weeks in a row now. The question is how many weeks in a row is it going to be? Prior to this, maybe once a year, maybe twice a year, there were loud parties around here, but nothing uh, like this. Like it's never been this long and constant. Meaning if someone had a loud party, it might be from like 6 to 11, okay, maybe like 5 hours, 6 hours the most. This has been going on since like, you know, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And it's going to go until probably like 2 o'clock in the morning. And I am just very thankful that I am not living in the house next door to this. Because if it was that close to me, then I would really not be happy about it. I don't even know how the people that are living closer to that house are dealing with it. Because, you know, they're like right on top of it. Even now, so like right now, we're inside, we're on the opposite side of the house. The air conditioning is on and I could still hear it. Like I could still hear it and I could still feel the bass. So I feel bad for Hydrox. This is how Stella lets me know she wants to use the tablet. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. Hello, Boo. How are you today, Boo? You and all the cats are going to be on your own today, okay? I'm going to be out all day. So you, you're going to be good. You're going to be the good, boo, right? Be the good. And you are going to do your job, right, boo? Your job today is looking out the windows, making sure no strange animals or people are in the yard. And then alerting me if any are, right? You protect the yard. You look out the windows. That's your job, boo. Your job is to look out the windows and tell me everything that's going on, okay? 
because we have a mental connection, right, boo? We have a telepathic connection. So when you look out the windows, you're going to tell me mentally. You're going to send mental messages and let me know everything that's going on in the yard, right? Boo says yes, he's very excited. Okay, Simba, today your job is hunting bugs, okay? You're in charge of the bugs, Simba, like always, okay? No bugs come in this house. Make sure all the bugs stay out of the house, okay? That's your job. You're the bug hunter. Got it? You say okay? Simba says, okay, no bugs in the house. No bugs allowed. Hello, Stella. Stella, today you're in charge of making sure everyone gets along, okay? You know that's your job, right? Stella says she doesn't really like her job. But Stella, you're so good at it. You're the only one who knows all the rules when it comes to manners, right, Stella? You gotta make sure all the cats get along with each other, right? Okay. Right now it's about 8.30 a.m. And I just opened the back door and Hydrox was hanging out under the feeding table. Now he's meowing at me. So last night there were two plates of food out. and I didn't see Hydrox eat any of them. I don't know where the plates are today. I'm going to give him a plate of food now.
Right now it is about 10.30 p.m. And here's Stella. She's hanging out next to the cat grass and she has the snakes on her tablet. She's really happy. And here's Boo. Boo's playing with his dragonfly toy and he's waiting for some crunchies. That's what he really wants. There's Simba. Can you see Simba? I know it's a bit dark, but there's Simba. He's hanging out near the cat grass also. And there's Splash. Splash is hanging out. So this is what cats do at night. At night, the cats just hang out around their cat grass. They really like the cat grass in this turbo scratcher and they kind of hang out around it almost like it's a campfire. It's like a community cat grass. I don't think I filmed anything today, so I just thought I would fill you in on what's been going on here. So I went to run some errands today. And one of the places I went was PetSmart and I bought two big bags of cat litter. And I was going to film a video about the cat litter because I've been getting a lot of questions about what cat litter I'm using. And then it started raining and I was like, well, I'll wait for the rain to pass before I bring those bags in. They're two 40 pound bags, so they're pretty heavy. Um, and then I got involved with working today it's a regular work day for me. And Stella wanted to help me, so she sat next to me. And then she looked out the window, and I think Splash was laying on the bed all day, and Boo was hanging out in the cat tower all day. And at one point in the afternoon, I want to say like around 2 p.m., all of a sudden I got so tired. I was like, you know what, I'm just going to lay down on the sofa in the living room, and I'm going to take like a 20 minute nap. And the minute I did that, Stella came to join me and she was kneading on me and kneading on me and kneading on me. And um, so I took a little nap with Stella and then I woke up and I had to catch up on everything that I didn't get done because I ended up taking a nap for like an hour. So Hydrox was fed. I gave him some food. To hopefully he'll eat it outside. He's hanging out near the automatic feeder and the cats are having their dinner. Boo has had his new dragonfly toy for about two days now. Look what he did. You see what he did? He got the wings off. The poor dragonfly only has wings on the left side. Some of the wings are now on the ground. It's 9.39 a.m. The cats love this cat grass. They sit by it. And Boo is doing his zoomies routine. So every morning when I refill all of the cat water bowls and then when I clean out the litter and get their breakfast ready, he runs around the house like a crazy boy. Right, Boo? And that's what he's been doing. So I took out the camera. Of course, once the camera's on him, he calms down a little bit. He says, give me pets, give me pets, give me pets. So, um, I'm gonna go finish, gonna go finish the cat chores. It's 11.43 a.m. and I was cleaning up the living room and I put this away. This is Boo's new dragonfly toy. And I just heard the bell ringing. I'm like, what is going on? Well, look. Boo pulled it out. Boo found it and he pulled it out from where it was. It is 8.15 p.m. right now. And we just ended a live stream about five or ten minutes ago. And I want to give a shout out to Daddy Secret Garden and Alex Lachette. Thank you so much for your super chats and your donations. And I want to tell you what happened during the live stream. So... At the end of the live stream, I was playing with Boo with his dragonfly toy. And he was running around like crazy. There's Boo now because he loves his dragonfly toy. And he was jumping on the bed. And he was jumping really high on the bed. And he jumped so high 
that instead of landing on the bed, he landed on the camera. And he knocked the camera off of where it was, and I don't think he broke it, but poor Boo did not land on the bed. He landed on the camera, knocked it over, and then he landed on the floor with the camera. And I hope he's okay. He seems to be okay. He's not limping or anything. Um, but I hope, you know, I hope he's not bruised up or anything. So that's what happened with the live stream. It ended abruptly when uh, Boo got a little crazy. Right, Boo? How you feeling, Boo? Boo, you hungry? Boo, you want some dinner? Would you like some crunchies? Boo. Who how you feeling, Boo? You feeling okay? Who? How you feeling? You feel okay? Meanwhile, here's Stella, Splash and Simba, gathering around the cat grass. This is what the cats like to do. They like to gather around the cat grass. It's like a watering hole. I actually have to water it. Maybe later. But they all really enjoy it. It's 8.20 p.m. and I just gave Hijack some food. He's having homemade raw food, which he really likes lately. He goes through phases where he loves it and then he goes through and then he goes through phases where he doesn't eat it as much and lately he's been loving it, so that's what I gave him. The cats are eating their dinner. And this is where Boo eats. It is 8.36 p.m. and Hydrox ate all the homemade food, so I just gave him some canned food with a bunch of water mixed in. That's probably half of a 5.5 ounce can. If he eats all that, I'll give him some more. It's 10 p.m. This is how Stella lets me know she wants to use the tablet. She says, turn it on. I have to plug it in though. The battery's dead. These cats go through this tablet battery like crazy. The cats have a new toy. This is a Zufari electronic motion cat toy. Uh, it's a mouse hunt. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It says, triggers your cat's instinct to play, pounce, and hunt. Interactive electronic cat toy. It runs on batteries. It says it has two speeds. It changes direction. It has 360 degrees of motion. Mouse changes direction and appears unpredictably. So the cats have a toy similar to this. They actually might have two toys similar to this, um, but they're not electronic. Um, they have one electronic toy where, like, a little bird goes in and out of holes, and they do like that toy. Um, but I got this one also just because I thought the cats would like something new. They love electronic toys to play with. And since I am going to be working from home more often in the near future, um, I need some really good ways to uh, distract the cats and hold their attention for a while. And I thought this might be useful for that. And this is the back of the box. It's pretty much the same, but I think it's in Spanish. So let's open this up and let's check it out. So this is what it looks like. And the little mouse, I thought it would be furry. It's not furry, um, but it did come with batteries. So I'm going to put the batteries in here, and Boo's here with me, so he's very eager to test out this new toy. I have to get a screwdriver. So the toy is not even on yet, and Boo sees the mouse. It's not going to move until I turn it on. So it has a little button here. It has slow, fast, and off. So let's press the button.
Oh, check that out. It goes over and under. Maybe it was too fast for him. We'll put it on slow again. Stella doesn't care about the mouse.
Sorry, boo, your fur looks so regal. Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. It's 9 a.m., and I just found another ant situation today, so I don't know if you could see this. So this is the corner of the door that was caulked up, but now they're coming from here, so they found a new entryway in, and there's a whole big trail of ants. So now I have to follow this trail and figure out where they're going and why they're going there. There's a whole trail. This is where they're going, look. This is the crunchy puzzle for the cats and there's crunchies in it. And I put it aside the other day because the cats uh, weren't playing with it that much and look at this, the ants found it. So I have to put this outside right now. It's 4.47 p.m. right now. Simba's hanging out in the round tub. It's 8.36 p.m. and I just walked past the living room and I saw this. I actually saw something different than this, but close enough. So there's the cardboard cat scratcher and I put it on the cat wheel today because when I was cleaning up from the ants, I needed to get everything up off the floor because I was vacuuming everything and cleaning everything. And so I put the cat scratcher there. And Splash, who we see here, walked up to the cat scratcher and he was gonna scratch on it, so he put his paws on it and the wheel started moving. And that's when he jumped off of the scratcher and he's just sitting next to it right now. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens with the scratcher on the wheel. I haven't given up on this wheel yet. I still think someday the cats are going to use it. It's about 6 p.m. right now. And the cats are all waking up from their nap. And today... I went to Michael's and I bought the last pom-pom garland that they had in the store and it was 40% off. So I got an even better deal on it than the last one and this one I'm going to keep in one piece. I'm not going to cut it into separate pom-poms even though Simba loves the separate pom-poms. Um, but they'll have this one to play with just like this. 
And I also found out something else today. So it used to be that when you went to Michael's, you could use competitor's coupons. So if you had a coupon for Joann's or AC Moore or something like that, you could use it at Michael's. So you'd always get like a really great deal at Michael's. And now since this COVID stuff, they don't take competitor's coupons anymore. So that was a little bit disappointing, but I guess I understand that because their business has definitely been negatively affected um, by everything that's going on. So if you shop at Michael's, uh, just know that you can't use competitors' coupons there anymore. Boo, you want the pom-poms? You want the pom-poms? Oh, Stella wants them. Stella says she wants the pom-poms. Don't forget, Stella loves snakes. These are pretty heavy as a garland. You gotta be kind of careful with them. I didn't take the tags off yet. And that cat grass has seen better days. It's been well loved by the cats. I even watered it the other day. I think it's just past the point of no return. Oops, sorry. Sorry, Stella. Simba, you got all the pom-poms. Simba, you got all the pom-poms. Boo says, how come Simba gets all the pom-poms? Because you get the dragonflies, Boo. Simba's wearing it like a vest. He's gonna lay down in his pom-poms. He's purring. Right now it's about 9 p.m. and I have four hungry cats here. And about an hour ago, I cooked up some fish. So this is some cod uh, that was cooked and it was cooled and it was shredded like this. And I gave a little piece to Stella, she didn't want it. I gave a little piece to Simba, he didn't want it. But I'm curious to see like if I give them some of this with their meal if they'd eat it. This is what the cats are getting for dinner. So they're getting some Earthborn Holistic Harbor Harvest. They're getting some of this cod and they're getting a few crunchies on top. So there's their food. Splash should eat it because he's had this food before. Unless the cod scares them. Okay, so we'll check back with the cats in a few minutes and we'll see what they've left on their plates. Are they going to leave all the cod on their plates? Or are they going to try it? Okay, the cats finished their food and look what happened. Look at this. Look. They ate the fish. They ate the fish. I don't know who ate it. But they ate it. It's 9.45 p.m. and Hydrox is at the back door, so I'm going to give him a can of food. Right, Boo? Hydrox is very hungry tonight. He's eating an entire six-ounce can of Trader Joe's uh, ocean fish cat food. And maybe because I haven't seen him. Like, I didn't see him for breakfast today. Um, I don't know if he came by for dinner yesterday. He hasn't been around a lot lately. I don't know where he's been, but... He's really hungry now, so I'm happy that I looked out the back door uh, and I saw him there. It's 10.30 p.m. Simba got all the pom-poms. Simba! 
Simba got all the pom poms. Simba, you look so pretty in your pom poms. He loves his pom poms. Simba, you love your pom poms? Okay, yeah. You love your pom poms. The cats are having a midnight snack. They're getting their crunchies. Be nice, everybody. Good morning. It is 8.23 a.m. And last night, Stella was laying next to the grass exactly where she is right now. And when I went to bed last night, she was sleeping next to the grass exactly where she is right now. And I just woke up today, and she's still there. She loves this grass. And look, I made it some mess right now. But when I grew the cats, the large bed of cat grass, which I haven't done in a very long time, um, they used to like laying in it even after it was pretty much dead. So I think she still enjoys the grass. Pooh is very nice to Simba right now, and he's done that to him quite a bit lately. I've probably seen that um, three or four times over the past week, where Boo will greet Simba, um, you know, with a kiss, and he'll just, he'll, to me, it looks like he might start grooming him, which I think would be amazing. If Boo started grooming Simba, like, that would just be such a huge progress for Boo. Um... And Simba would let it. I mean, if you saw what just happened, Simba, you know, did not flinch. He was just kind of waiting for Boo to groom him. Um, and Boo gets so close to doing that. There's Boo now. The crunchy plates are still there from last night. Um, oh, Boo must have found a crunchy. <laughs> and Simba loves his pom-poms. It is 9.33 a.m. And I was just on the other side of the house and I heard a meow. I said, oh my gosh, that's Hydrox. And I opened the back door. Here he is. He wants food. And look what's going on here. There's Ditto and he's drinking rainwater out of that um, water dispenser. And I have it over there because I was going to get rid of it. Because all summer long it's just been full of algae. But maybe he likes it. Maybe I should actually put some water in it. I have not fed the inside cats yet. I've gotten nothing done this morning except talk on the phone. It's been one of those mornings where you just get distracted. And now I am going to feed Hydrox, put some food outside for dinner, and then feed the inside cats. And actually do the whole cat chore thing. So I've been wondering why this mat keeps moving. We just saw why. So Hydrox has been using this to scratch on. And this is what happens, like every day I notice the, the mat has been moved like this and every day I have to push it back. And I've also been wondering why like this mat is such a mess. I don't know if you could see because there's a lot of reflections, like all the loose fiber on it. That's because Hydrox has been pulling it out. Good morning, Dada. Would you like some food also? That's some homemade raw food for you with some water mixed in and some herbs. 
eat it. I just moved Ditto's plate over and I took a quick look in this water dispenser and it's just full of like dirt and stuff so he's drinking dirty water. Okay I just cleaned out this water dispenser and put a whole bunch of fresh water in it. It's 9 45 p.m. This is what's going on. Stella, Splash, and Simba, they gather around the cat grass. Right now, Splash is going to go investigate. He hears something. Oh no, he's just going to move there. This is what Boo has done to his newest dragonfly toy. Uh, so he pulled all the wings off of it. I would say it lasted a few days, maybe it lasted a week the most. Then he kind of loses interest after the wings are gone. So there's there's another dragonfly without wings on the floor. So what happens now is when I give the cats a little bit of catnip, they pretty much just lick it up. They don't go crazy over it. So what I realized today is that I should go back to the pet store where I bought this cat grass insert and I should buy another one. So that way, like right now, I can be growing a new one as they still have this one with, you know, the grass that has seen better days. And um, then when the new one is grown, I could put it in the turbo scratcher and then this one I can empty out and uh, get set up with growing new cat grass or you know wait a few days and then get it set up so there would always be like one uh, container of cat grass in the turbo scratcher and then there would be another one being prepared um, while this one was in here so I'm thinking uh, that's what I might do over the next few days go see if they had another one Stella loves her boa. She's been walking around with it for like the past half hour. The same way Boo loves his cape, that's how Stella loves her boa. 
She's laying on the pom-poms. There's two raccoons in the yard. You probably can't see them because I could hardly see them. I have a flashlight on them. It looks like one of them's been just like pooping in the yard. I can't tell. I can't tell if the raccoon's like pooping or peeing or what. Okay, now the two of them are walking off. They're walking off, but there's two raccoons, but they've just been like chattering at each other. I don't know what's going on. Stella, look. Stella, I picked you a green bean today. I got that off of a plant in the yard. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's 12.20 a.m. Look what's going on here. There's three cats sleeping on the bed. There's no room for anybody but cats. I don't know where I'm going to sleep tonight. Look at Simba and Boo sleeping together. It's 9.37 a.m. and Hydrox is eating food. He's getting a bunch of ground turkey with bone meal mixed in and other supplements. It is 9.02 p.m. right now and Hydrox is having some dinner and he's having half of a can of Trader Joe's turkey and giblets and he's having some raw ground turkey mixed in with that and I'm sorry there's a lot of reflections and it's dark out and there's a lot of music and noise outside so I'm just going to try to talk over it because I don't want a copyright strike but Hydrox is doing well. I'm just about to feed the cats and I wanted to show you Splash because he lets me pet him and I was petting him with one finger and sometimes he likes that because it's not like overstimulation or anything but the minute he saw the camera he ran and Boo says, what's going on when we eating? What are we eating? So this is what the cats are going to have for dinner. This is some raw ground turkey that I bought at Trader Joe's. And I am going to mix in some wet cat food. And I'm going to mix in some turkey and giblets cat food. And let's see if the cats will eat this. There's the turkey and there's the cat food on top. I'm going to mix it together. This is what it looks like all mixed together along with some water. And now I'm going to give this to the cats. This is what the cats are getting for dinner. So they're getting uh, the food I just showed you with two treats on top and a few crunchies. Alright guys, eat your food. Eat your food. Where are you going, Splash? Eat your food, Splash. Anytime the cats get something new to eat, Splash likes to eat it about 10 feet away. Sometimes he likes to run upstairs, which is what I just blocked him from doing. So it looks like the cats are enjoying it, so I'm gonna move Splash's bowl over to where he is. If your cats have never had raw food before and you're thinking about trying them out with it, this is a good way to uh, kind of sneak some in, is to mix it in with some canned food. And by mixing some ground turkey or some ground chicken in with some canned food, then they're getting the complete nutrition of the canned food. Um, along with a taste of the raw food and some of the benefits of the raw food. And Splash is eating his food also. So it looks like the cats enjoy this. I think it's a nice change of pace for them. It's about 9.30 right now, and this is what the bowls look like after the cats finished. This was a big hit. They really enjoyed their meals. It's 10 p.m. Stella loves this cat grass so much, even though it is completely flat right now. 
She's been laying on it like it's a pillow. See how flat that is? It's totally squashed. Look at Stella. Stella loves this cat grass. She's sitting on it like she's going to hatch an egg. Hey, Stella. It's about 2 p.m. right now. This is what is left from the Halloween haunted house cat scratcher from last year. So like when Boo jumped on it and squashed the whole thing, um, I really didn't see a way that I would be able to easily repair it so it would stand up and not be all kind of uh, half broken. Um, so I threw it out, but I did uh, rescue the scratching parts of it. And there's a scratching part on the bottom and a scratching part on the top. And they've already scratched through one of them, and this is the one that's left. I had it here on this cat wheel, and Splash was using it on the cat wheel, and I was like, oh, that might be the way to get the cats on the cat wheel. Well, it wasn't, because they haven't really used it since then. However, here is the brand new Halloween cat scratcher for this year. Grandpa Farrell put it together. It's a little bit awkward. Um, so the opening is on the front and the back, and the back has that um, tall decorative piece on it and I just put it there because like the corner of the room right there is kind of helping to hold it up even though it stays um, stays up on its own I just figured maybe it won't be as awkward that way but uh, we'll see if the cats use it and today I picked up another one of these turbo scratcher cat grass inserts so this will make it really easy to grow additional cat grass while there's still some cat grass in the scratcher and another thing that I did today was I went back to the pet supply store that is going out of business and I bought a whole bunch of stuff. So all this cost me about $65. I got two bags of the Whole Earth Farms Crunchies uh, for the outside feeders. These were on sale 40% off, so I got each bag for about $15. And those are 10 pound bags, so that's 20 pounds of Crunchies for the outside feeder. That should last um, at least a month. Then I also picked up some canned food. So the Whole Earth Farms canned food, the cats have never had this before. I got the Real Salmon Recipe Pate, and these ended up being 77 cents a can. I wish they had more flavors there, uh, but they didn't. They're pretty much only down to the salmon pate. Then they had a bunch of the Blue Wilderness canned food, and those were on sale for like a dollar eight each, which is a good deal. I've, I, I never see them in a store for that price. And then there was also the Earth born holistic harbor harvest which the cats just finished the last two cans of that the other day quite a while ago the cats were sent a few cases of that food as a gift and i found a few cans uh, that i had left and they really enjoy that uh, it's like a a salmon and white fish dinner with vegetables and gravy they really like that so i picked up about eight cans of those and um yeah so i thought i did really good i wish they had more food left uh, to choose from it was like less than a full aisle of cat food so maybe what I will do is set myself a reminder and then go back on Thursday because the woman told me uh, every Thursday is when they change the prices again so maybe it'll be more than 40% off and maybe I'll be able to get a better deal on stuff that they had left you know some of the stuff even with 40% off I was like well I could just do better buying cheaper brands I also picked up these these are Stella and Chewy's freeze-dried raw duck duck goose dinner morsels and the cats have never tried these um, and these were $9.99 but there's 40% off so I got them for around six dollars and I thought maybe for crunchy time, instead of crunchies, the cats can have some of these and I'll see if they if they like them. There was another woman uh, there buying some cat stuff and she told me her cats love these. I don't know why, but when I go shopping for cat stuff, random people like to come up to me and tell me about their cats. And um, that's what happened. She just like randomly came up to me and she was like, oh, my cats really like these. And she was asking me about uh, some of the other food. And I was like, unfortunately, I can't you know, tell you because my cats have not tried that food that you're asking me about. But um, so hopefully the cats like these. I think that will be something uh, new for them to try. And um, 
And yeah, you could definitely get some good deals when there's a pet supply store going out of business. It's always sad to see a pet supply store going out of business, but in the past, the few times that I've tried to shop there, um, I did have issues shopping there. Like I wanted to give them my money and they just did not have the products that I wanted to buy and they refused to get them in. So, you know, I kind of, kind of anticipated this day coming um, eventually for them. So that is my cat food haul. Stella, look. Stella, I picked you a green bean today. I got that off of a plant in the yard. Stella. Stella loves her green beans. Here's Simba. Simba says, that's not a pom-pom. They think it's a green worm. You know, Stella loves worms. So she thinks it's a green worm. It's about 11.15 p.m. right now, and instead of crunchies tonight, the cats are going to try the Stella and Chewy's freeze-dried raw dinner morsels, and these are uh, the Duck Duck Goose flavor. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. It says they're grain and gluten-free, no added hormones or antibiotics, natural with added vitamins and minerals. And then this is the back of the bag. Let's take a look at the ingredients. They are duck with ground bone, turkey with ground bone, turkey liver, goose, turkey gizzard, pumpkin seed, potassium chloride, sodium phosphate, choline chloride, then it looks like it goes into probiotics, uh, vitamins, and minerals. So the cats have never had this before, and I thought it might be a nice snack for them instead of the crunchies. So let's open this up and let's see if they like it. This is what they look like in the bag. I thought they would all be the same size, but it looks like they're different sizes. I'm giving a piece to all the cats. Here, Stella, here. Boo. Eat that, boo. Eat it. They hear one of the neighbors. I think it's one of the neighbors. It sounded like someone just got out of their car. Is Boo eating it? Simba ate his. Splash ate his. Stella refused hers. But Boo ate his too. Okay guys, want another piece? Here's another piece, piece for you, piece for you, piece for you. They're roughly, there you go Stella. The pieces are roughly the same size. Look at that, Boo likes it. Simba likes it, Splash likes it, and Stella doesn't. So Splash is eating Stella's. Okay, I'll give you a piece, Boo. Another piece, and another piece, another piece. Oh, sorry. There goes Splash. So the calories in this food are 224 calories to a cup. That means if they have a quarter cup each, it's about 50 calories. If they have a half cup, it'd be about 110 calories, 112 calories. 
I haven't measured to see how many of these pieces would be in a cup. Oh, now Stella's looking. You don't want it? Here. No, she doesn't want it. I don't know why she doesn't want it. Everyone else likes it. Here. Okay, I would say that these are a big hit with the cats. Now all of a sudden Boo is refusing to eat his. So three out of four cats approve of these Stella and Chewy's dinner morsels in the Duck Duck Goose flavor. Stella, you're so cute. Stella, you look so cute like a gnome. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. I'd like to give a shout out to Abril and C.R. Barboni. Thank you so much for your patronage this month and your generous support. I'm downstairs with Stella. Look what she took downstairs. She took her green bean downstairs. And when I first came downstairs, Stella was hanging out in this carrier. So this is one of the places that Stella likes to hang out. She likes to hang out in this carrier, which is good because it's good carrier training. But if I ever try to put her in that carrier, she throws a fit. <laughs> She's like, I'm not going in there at all. And of course, when I came downstairs, then she decided she's going to come out of the carrier and she's going to greet me. And look who's hanging out on the sofa. It's Splash. He took a nap here all afternoon. And then when I come downstairs, he wakes up. How you doing, Splash? Stella, do you like your green bean? You like your green bean? Oh, it's getting soft. The green bean's getting soft. Oh, look who it is. It's Simba. Simba was on top of the cat tower. I guess all the cats were hanging out down here today. Simba says he's going to lay down next to his mommy. He's purring.
Stella. Stella's dressed like a gnome. Stella, show us how beautiful you are. Stella, look at the camera. Stella, you're so cute. Stella, you look so cute like a gnome. Here comes Simba. Simba says, why is Stella wearing my costume? Stella, you're a pretty gnome. It is 10.26 a.m. And Boo did not want to eat his breakfast. Like, he ate a few bites of it, and that was it. So, I don't know why he does that. So what I did was, I put his plate up here, because sometimes he likes to eat it better up here. Now, he did eat a few bites downstairs, but the majority of it he left. And when I put the plate up here for him, if he does not eat it, uh, then I noticed Simba ate some of it, and... We just saw Stella finishing it. And also what I realized today is I am constantly stepping over and around cats. And I think it's because I've gotten myself into a routine where every morning I just take care of all the cat chores, get them out of the way before I feed the cats. And the cats have gotten wise to my routine. So like they know what my routine is and they get under my feet anticipating like being fed. So I really think I have to change my routine because it's just really annoying stepping over cats, like having cats constantly under your feet. That's just like a pet peeve. It, it makes everything take at least twice as long, if not longer. It is 1.09 p.m. right now. And Boo and Simba are laying on the bed together. And here's Splash. And it's supposed to be a nice day today, but it's not. It's like overcast. And I just checked the weather app that has like a satellite precipitation map. And there's a lot of rain coming this way. It's not indicated on the weather, so I don't know what's going on. But I'm going to go out and run some errands before it gets here. But I did want to mention one other thing before I forgot. So yesterday afternoon, it was later in the afternoon, and I was working at my dining room table. I was working on my computer, and I looked out the window, and I could see across to the woods. And the next thing I saw was a cat. It could have been Hydrox or Ditto, but I think it was Ditto because I think I saw more white on the hind legs. And it came running out of the woods with what looked like a dead squirrel in its mouth. Like, it was big. It was like a big gray animal in its mouth. And the animal was not moving, so I assumed it was dead. And the gray animals around here are squirrels, so I assumed it was a squirrel. And it did not run into my yard. It ran into one of my neighbor's yards with it. So I don't know where it was going. But it was like in a hurry. It was running really fast from the woods, um, like across the street. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it was going to stash it somewhere. I'm assuming it was Ditto. I don't know if it was going to hide it somewhere. You know, cats have hiding spots for their prey. I know when Stella and her babies lived outside, Stella had some hiding spots. So like if she caught a bird and maybe they weren't going to eat it right away, she would bury it in like a hiding spot and they, they would go back to eat it later and you know I've seen them eat stuff that they've killed like a day or two later and you know not get sick from it that's why I never worry about keeping their raw food out too long some people freak out and leave crazy comments saying oh you should not leave it out longer than two hours and I always respond that well I've seen these cats leave you know, a dead animal around for several days before they ate it. So I don't think an extra few hours of already chilled raw food or in most cases it's, you know, it's frozen when I put it out and after a few hours it's still quite cold. Um, I don't think that is going to have a negative effect on them and it hasn't so far. Obviously a pet food company is not going to advocate that because of liability issues, but just based on knowing what these cats uh, do in the wild. Uh, that's why I make the decisions that I make for them. 
And remember, always just observe nature when you can. If you have a chance to observe nature, go out and observe nature. And you will often find that what you observe is different than some of the information that is posted on the internet. There's a lot of misinformation posted on the internet about so many things. That's an issue I'm finding even myself when I'm trying to do some research on some topics. It used to be if you tried to research something, you'd find some legitimate information about it within the first page or two of like Google searches. And now there's so much clickbait. There's so much clickbait that you have to like wade through and it's just wrong information that people are just posting to get the clicks. And, um, you know, it's kind of sad, right, Boo? Boo says it's not right at all. He says people should not do that and people should always just observe nature before they come to any kind of beliefs or conclusions. Right, Bo? He says yes. He says especially with black cats. People should just really pay attention to black cats more often and they'll find that black cats are very lucky cats and that they're very good cats and they're no different than other cats and they're not scary. Right, Bo? Right. So yesterday I was on the website for World Market because there used to be a World Market around here, but with COVID they closed. There are one of the stores around here that closed down. And I was looking at their website because I was looking to see if they have any other locations around. And there's another location like a half hour away. So then I just started uh, looking for like what cat items do they have? Because I used to like to look at their pet section. They always had like unique cat items and they had that pin um I don't know if you remember it but I think I put it on Instagram or um one of the social media accounts uh that the cats have um there's a black cat pin and it says unlucky on it and I just think that pin is awful and I think they shouldn't carry it there and I'm happy to say I'm not the only one that thinks that because it got a lot of bad reviews a lot of people uh said that that was a horrible pin and then some other people were upset that you know people were taking the pin too seriously oh you know you shouldn't take it so seriously it's only a pin well it's not just a pin it's little things like that that add up right boo boo says that black cats are all very lucky black cats are all very lucky and what kind of person would make a pin that says black cats are unlucky he says, they've never known a black cat in their life. Right, boo? Right. Okay, boo. One of the cats' favorite things is when I lay down on the bed with them in the middle of the day. Like, they love laying on this bed all afternoon. And I never knew why until a few weeks ago. And I laid down on the bed with them in the afternoon. And I was like, oh, I totally understand why they love laying here. It is just something about how the sun hits the room and... I don't know, there's just something that is just so relaxing and comfortable. And what happens is if I lay down with them, a lot of times I'll just like literally just fall asleep and end up taking a nap. Not even wanting to, not even needing a nap. It's just such a comfortable place to be. I don't know why. Uh, in the afternoon, specifically. Um, and that's why they love it so much. That's why they love hanging out in this room at this time. Right, Bo? So right now they would be so happy if I just laid here with them all afternoon, but I can't do that, Bo. Bo, I can't do that. I got things to do today. I'm on a schedule, okay? Okay, Bo? Maybe we can do that another day. Oh, did you want me to put a live stream on, Boo? Is that what you're telling me? Boo says I should put a live stream on. I don't know if I have the time to do that right now. 
Let me see if I could do that, but let me see if I could put a live stream on, okay? Hydrox and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. It is 6.54 a.m. I'm here with Boo. Let me tell you what happened last night. So I was exhausted when I got home because I was out all day. And I went to bed late. And all I wanted to do was sleep. And the windows were open because it was a nice, it was a nice night. It wasn't too hot or anything. And all I heard was a howling dog. Like somebody had a dog outside, and the dog was not happy at all, and was just howling uh, because it wanted to go inside. Now, what kind of, what kind of person leaves their dog outside all night? And um, I just felt so bad for that dog, like so bad. I wanted to like get up, leave the house and walk around and find out like where this dog was and where the noise was coming from. And it just makes me really question some of my neighbors. Like if I thought it was loud, um, like how are they in their house with the dog right outside? not hearing it unless they were like passed out on drugs um or something like that um then maybe that would be a situation but even like if you have your windows closed and your air conditioning on um you could still hear it because i closed the windows and i could still hear it i mean that's how loud it was and um eventually it stopped this morning i don't know if they let the dog in or the dog just fell asleep and um, when I got up and looked out the window this morning everything's wet so it was raining and I just hope the dog wasn't outside in the rain I hope the dog had some kind of shelter it was just it was not a good night so it, I kept waking up and it was just horrible right boo and it's not the first time that I've heard that so that's what also bothers me and um, I hope people are not mistreating that dog because the dog does not sound happy you know it's really it's really like crying and howling that kind of sound Boo says he didn't get much sleep either but he slept all day yesterday <laughs> so he doesn't mind Right, Boo? We're gonna wipe your eyes? Boo likes it when I wipe his eyes now. Watch. He lets me wipe his eyes. You like it, Boo? Okay. Let's wipe your eye. Okay. Okay. You look handsome. You look handsome, Boo. Very handsome today, Boo. You're always handsome. You're a very handsome cat.
Hello, Stella. It's about 3.30 p.m. right now. And Stella's been helping me work today. She's been sitting on the chair next to me. And we just walked into the... We just walked into the living room and Stella is now laying on the grass, what's left of it. She loves it. She wanted me to put her centipedes on so she could watch them while she lays in the grass. And as soon as Boo heard the centipede video go on, he jumped off the cat tower in the bedroom and he came over here so he could watch the video also. Right, Bo? And this is a new tray of cat grass that I am growing for the cats. I hope it grows. Uh, this is this is the first time that I've grown a tray of cat grass uh, with this method, which is a hydroponic method. And today was the first day that I took off the paper towels that were over the top. And it's looking kind of sparse right now, so that's why I'm hoping it really fills in. And I don't know if uh, the cats have... Uh, realize this is here yet. Hopefully they haven't. Um, hopefully it'll get really big within a few days and then that, then I could give it to them. It is 5.54 p.m. and I just gave Hydrox some food so he's having half of a can of the wholehearted turkey which he seems to really like because he's actually eating it under the feeding table which I haven't seen him eat anything there in quite a while. He usually likes to eat by his rocks near the back door um, but that's good. Um, I'm feeding him now because there are a bunch of dark clouds in the sky. Just checked the, I just checked the weather and we could have thunderstorms all night. So there's a chance of that. So I figured let me make sure he gets his food uh, before any roll in. Hopefully they'll just roll by and not roll in, but in case they roll in, then he has some food. It is 9.44 a.m. and Simba and I just hunted a pom-pom. He let me know where it was, and I got a yardstick out, and I got it out from under a whole thing of shelves in the corner. There you go, Simba. There you go, Simba. There's your pom-pom. Don't put it back there, okay? Stella, you ready for breakfast? I put an activity tracker on this morning just to see like how many steps I get in during a day. And just getting up in the morning, I haven't even done the cat chores yet. I'm already at 2,248 steps without doing the cat chores. So I'm gonna do the cat chores and I'm gonna check back after all the cat chores are done and after all the cats have eaten. Boo came downstairs today because he wants to be brushed. How you doing, Boo? How are you today, Boo? Want some breakfast? Do you know what day it is today, Boo? Boo, today is fish day. It's fish day. You guys get canned fish. What kind of canned fish would you like, Boo? Would you like tuna? Or salmon? Or ocean fish? You want white fish? You want tilapia? What kind of fish you guys want? You want tuna? You want salmon? You want salmon? Yeah? Okay. Your vote is for salmon. Simba, it's fish day today. What kind of fish would you like today, Simba? You want tuna? You want salmon? You want white fish? You want tilapia? You want ocean fish? What kind of fish you want? You want tuna? You want salmon? You want ocean fish? You want white fish? I think salmon, I think Simba wants either ocean fish or white fish, right? You want ocean fish, white fish, salmon, or tuna? Yep. Ocean fish, white fish, salmon, tuna, what do you want? His vote is for the ocean fish or the white fish. Stella, it's fish day today. What kind of fish would you like, Stella? You want some tuna? You want some salmon? You want some ocean fish? 
You want some white fish? You want white fish too? No, you just don't want to be brushed? You want tuna? You want salmon? You want ocean fish? You want white fish? Ocean fish? Tuna? Still says she don't care. She doesn't really care for fish. The cats are getting their breakfast. Boo's getting salmon. The other cats are getting the ocean fish. All right, guys, ready to eat? There's your food. Eat your food. Eat it, Splash. You've eaten it before. You don't be afraid of it. No one really ate their food today. I guess they didn't like this ocean white fish. Okay, cat chores are pretty much done now. Let's see where I'm at. I'm at 3,180 steps. So that was nearly a thousand steps, which is about a half a mile. Boo ate all of his salmon and Simba told me that when I said white fish, he thought I meant the cooked cod because he really enjoyed the cooked cod. And uh, that was miscommunication on my part with them, so. The cats are going to try this bumblebee skinless and boneless pink salmon, tuna style in water. Uh, for the first time. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. I saw this in Trader Joe's a week or two ago. I've never seen Bumblebee anything in Trader Joe's before. And I normally don't buy Bumblebee products. Uh, because even though their tuna says tuna in water, it's not in water. It's usually in a vegetable broth made with soy, and I avoid that kind of stuff. But when I saw this in Trader Joe's, I figured, okay, maybe something is different about it. And first thing I did was check out the ingredients. And the ingredients are pink salmon, water, and salt. That's it. So there's no vegetable broth in here. Uh, which was very surprising because usually bumblebee includes that in their tuna, but maybe they do their salmon differently. Now it does say salt, so what I will probably do is rinse this before I give this to the cats. So it says serving size is one can drained and calories is 100 calories. So splitting this between four cats is not very much. It's only 25 calories each. So I will be giving them some other food to go along with this and the sodium is 250 milligrams. So hopefully when I rinse that off, uh, that will go down a bit. I believe this was $1.99 a can. I could be wrong about that, but that's what I seem to remember. I only bought one can because I didn't know if the cats would like it or not. So I'm gonna feed this to the cats and we'll see if they eat it. This is what the salmon looks like after it has been rinsed and drained. There was a lot of liquid in that can and I needed to get a can opener because it did not have a pull top. And I might see a bone in there, which I will check and I'll pull that out. But otherwise, it looks pretty good. The cats are also going to get some of this wholehearted salmon recipe, pate in gravy, to go along with the bumblebee salmon. This is going to be like a taste test. So here's what we have in each plate. The wholehearted salmon is on the left and the bumblebee salmon is on the right. And here's the platter of food for the cats. I'm gonna put this down and let's see what they eat. Okay, everybody, eat your food. Is Splash gonna eat it? Or is he gonna be afraid of it? Splash went for the bumblebee. Stella went for the wholehearted. Simba went for the wholehearted. Boo went for the bumblebee. Now Splash is going for the wholehearted. Simba's going for the bumblebee. Boo's still eating the bumblebee.
Okay, this is what is left on Stella, Splash, and Simba's plates. Look, they left most of the bumblebee salmon. I'm surprised that Simba hardly ate any of it. Stella might have eaten a third to a half of it, and Splash ate more than anybody. Um, I'm surprised they left this much food on their plates. I guess they're not hungry. And here's Boo's plate. He wanted to finish his food upstairs, and it looks like he really enjoyed the bumblebee salmon. He left a little bit of that, but he also left a little bit of the wholehearted cat food. I did have to cheat with Boo and give him a few crunchies on his food. That's why he's eating up here. What did you do today, Marnie? You just hang out outside? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It is 9.45 a.m. and I'm just about to leave. I need to be out of here by 10 a.m. today. This is Boo's breakfast to make it easy and quick. I give him his breakfast up here. He ate most of it. Hopefully um, they'll eat a little bit more before I leave. Otherwise it's going outside. I'm not leaving it here for bugs to get to it. All of the automatic feeders have been programmed. And something very interesting happened this morning and last night. So let me tell you really quickly. So last night, Boo, jumped on one of the chairs in this living room and he started scratching it. He started using it like a cat scratcher. And I was yelling from across the room, boo, don't do that. And so he jumped off the chair and he jumped onto the shelves near the windows and Splash was on the shelves near the windows and Splash was mad. He was so mad at boo because you know, Splash's job is to protect the furniture. So he was, giving Boo the dirtiest looks, and he was ready to like swat at Boo, you know, really smack him, but he didn't because Boo like, you know, kind of realized what he had done and he just kind of uh, calmed down, right? So then today, I was just downstairs feeding the cats and getting everything ready. Splash told me that's why him and Boo don't get along because Boo doesn't take care of the furniture and Splash is very upset about that because that's Splash's job. Splash's job is to make sure none of the cats like disrespect the furniture and Boo disrespects the furniture. There are two chairs in particular that Boo disrespects and Splash does not like that. So that's why Splash goes after Boo because Boo is scratching the chairs and that's Splash's job. So I told Splash he did a very good job with his job and I gave him some treats to thank him for doing his job and I uh, had a talk with Boo, right Boo? Boo, there's plenty of scratching posts in this house. Plenty of scratching posts in this house and there's cardboard cat scratchers too. You have plenty of cat things to scratch on, right Boo? You will only scratch on cat things, only on cat things, right Boo? Boo, Boo. You're only going to scratch on cat things. You're only going to scratch on cat things. If you scratch on furniture, you know Splash is going to get you. Splash is going to get you, boo. If you scratch on furniture, Splash's job is to protect it, so he's going to get mad at you. You understand that, boo? You only scratch on cat things. Got it? Okay, I'll put the tablet on for you.
What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Hello, Marty. How are you? You wanna eat your food? You gonna eat your food? What did you do today, Marty? You just hang out outside? You just hanging out? You gonna go take a walk? You gonna take a walk? It is 8.08 a.m. and this is the tray of cat grass that I've been growing for the cats. Um, I thought by now it would have filled in a little bit better than it has, but um, it is what it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it to the cats for the first time and uh, they should enjoy that and hopefully it'll keep them distracted this morning while I go about my cat chore routine. Okay guys, the grass is for you. You can eat it. I hope they like it. It's wheat grass and I know they love oat grass. I just hope Stella doesn't go and lay in it before they can enjoy eating it. Look at this. Simba's not even eating it. What is going on? Okay, I'll leave you guys here with the grass. It is about 8.30 a.m. right now, and yesterday I went to a local poultry farm that is known for super fresh uh, poultry and eggs, and I picked up this container of ground turkey. This is mixed white and dark meat, and because it's a local small farm, it's more expensive than a typical supermarket. So this was $7.69 per pound, but what I want to do is I want to see if the cats like it better uh, than the ground turkey that I've bought for them for Trader Joe's. Because even though this farm is more expensive, it is local and it is super fresh. And potentially the birds that they process are more healthy than factory farmed and big agriculture businesses. So... I'm gonna open this up and I have some raw food for the cats this morning. I'm also gonna give them a little bit of this ground turkey on the side. And I'm just gonna be curious to see if they'll eat it. Okay, and the cats got their food. They're getting some raw food with some of the turkey next to it and they're getting a few crunchies. And we'll see if they eat it. Boo wants to eat on the steps. Simba wants to eat over here. So far no one's touched the turkey, but it is something new. Oh, there goes Splash. He's checking it out a little bit. The cats finished their food, so let's see what's going on here. So Stella and Splash enjoyed their food. They also enjoyed the turkey. And this is Simba's plate. Simba ate all of his food, but he left the turkey. But then Splash came over to the plate, and Splash ate the turkey. And this is what's going on right now. So Pooh went up the stairs, and he's, he's sitting up there. And Simba's afraid to pass him. Pooh wants to eat his food here on the play rug. I put four little crunchies on his food. Literally four. So let's see what he does off of four crunchies. These are the blue wilderness crunchies. How much of his food is he going to eat? So that is what Boo ate off of four crunchies. I am going to strategically place another four to six crunchies on his food and we'll see what happens. 
six more crunchies. And this is what Boo's food looks like after more crunchies were placed on it. So I think he might be done with it because I'm not putting any more crunchies on it. Okay, there's four more strategically placed crunchies. You gonna eat that, Boo? You done or you gonna eat it? Okay, this is what Boo did to his food. He officially walked away. He's out of the room. Splash and Stella are circling the plate, so my time sitting here is done for today. And here's the tray of cat grass. It's kind of a shame no one's even touched it yet. It's 3 p.m. Stella is laying on the bed with a tablet. It's not her tablet. It's a tablet. How you doing, Stella? You having a nice day? And there's Splash. He's hanging out on top of the cat tower. And there's Simba. Can you see him up there? He's on top of the armoire in the round tub. Stella, how you doing? Stella wishes that I would turn the tablet on for her. But Stella, that's not your tablet. That's not the cat's tablet, okay? I'd have to give you your tablet. You want your tablet or are you gonna take a you gonna take a nap? Okay, you finish taking your nap, okay? Okay. And here's Boo. Boo's been hanging out on his day sofa today. Boo, you didn't have to move. This is one of the heated cat shelters in the yard. This was the shelter that Hydrox used pretty much all of last winter. Uh, it was brand new last winter. And it still has its spring wreath above the door. And it still has its spring flag. And Hydrox has not been using this since around St. Patrick's Day, so probably since around March. So once the weather started warming up, he stopped using it. I have not seen him use this um, anytime recently. I have seen him use the other shelter, the one that's under the house. So I don't know if he likes that one better or what, but neither of them are plugged in right now. Um, the other one actually does not even have the heated pet mat in it um, that's taken out in the summer. Uh, this one still has it, it's just not plugged in. Um, but what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to swap out the flag. I got this new flag at the Christmas tree shop uh, about a week ago and I thought it was really cute. It has a black cat on top of a pumpkin so it's seasonal, it's festive and it reminds me of Boo. And this was $4.99 so if you like this flag and if you live near a Christmas tree shop you might want to go there and see if they have it because you know the way that store works is if you don't buy something when you see it uh, then it's gone. Uh, they usually don't get uh, restocks on a lot of things and this was the only one that they had with the black hat on it. There we go, that flag looks really cute. I don't know if I'm going to be decorating this house for fall yet because I don't know if Hydrox is going to be using it. If he starts using it then I'll decorate it for him but if no one's using it I'm probably not going to decorate it. I'm probably just going to take off that uh, that spring wreath. Let me show you what else is going on in the yard. So right here, there's like a marker and there was a rhubarb plant here not too long ago. So pretty much all summer, I've been growing rhubarb here. I bought the rhubarb plants in the beginning of the summer. I planted it here and I made sure I got plenty of water all summer because I didn't want it to die. And the other day I came outside and I looked and it is gone. There's not even a trace of it anywhere. I mean, look at this. There is no rhubarb plant anywhere. This is like such a mystery to me, it's not even funny. Because I would figure if an animal was eating it, they would be chewing on it and there would be at least the bottom part of the plant left. And I don't even see that. I don't see any trace of it anywhere. I would think if it was pulled out, it would look like it's pulled out, but it doesn't even look like it's pulled out. Everything looks just, you know, flat and normal. So, um, not too happy about this, but it is what it is. And I, I guess I'm going to hope for better luck next year. I also saw this when I was in the Christmas tree shops. It's an animal wind spinner and look at it. Can you see it? 
it looks like Stella. It looks like Stella riding a bicycle. It is so cute. She has a little basket in the front with like a fish bone and a piece of meat. So I thought what I would do is I would put this together and put this where my rhubarb used to be. And uh, we'll just see what happens. Because it is kind of in line with the wildlife path that goes through the yard. And maybe this would kind of discourage them. Either they're going to attack it and tear it down or maybe it'll scare them and discourage them. This is what it looks like, and it's really cute. And I'm not really a fan of these whirly gig things, but this one looks so much like Stella, and I could just totally see her riding through the yard on a bicycle. Uh, I think I'm gonna move it over a little bit, uh, because then I could see it better from like the door and the window, and right now it's kind of hidden by a bush. There, how's that? That's like right in line with the wildlife path, so hopefully they'll just go around it, or maybe it'll scare them away. Thank you for watching this Lucky Earls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.